in the Lord. This is another day. Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Nisi has given you and I a bread. So we have to thank him. He alone is worthy. So let us pray and thank our maker, our savior. Our father, our Lord Jesus Christ, the mighty Jehovah, the Lord of the hosts, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit for another day. It is you alone that has done this. We thank you, covenanted God. We give you all your glory, a miracle working God. You are a faithful king of glory. So this morning, without you, there is nothing that we can do. We have to abide with you forever and forever, O oh Lord. Your word is settled. We give you all your praise. Unto thee, O oh Lord, with you, all things are possible. In Jesus Christ, your mighty name, I have prayed with thanksgiving. Amen. Holy Spirit, I take this opportunity. May you bless the viewers of Prophet Kenny for availing themselves in a daily basis to listen to the end time prophet. Thank you, Spirit of the living God. And may their heart desire be met. All things are possible with you, Spirit of God. May you bless them. Amen. Beloved in Christ, it is him alone that has done this. Holy Spirit is with us as a child of God. He knows his children and the saints of Almighty Jehovah. So this morning, he has given us a word. And the title of the message, the day of the Lord. Beloved, God has the day. So without wasting time, let us hear the gospel. That is 2 Peter 3.10. And let us read. Hallelujah. This is the word. 2 Peter 3.10 says, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night and in which that the heavens will pass away with a great noise and the elements will melt, will melt with fervent heat, both the air and the wax that are in it, it will burn up, beloved, all these luxury things we see, that day, everything will be melt. Everything will be destroyed. The so-called skyscrapers, the mansions, the car, people are acquiring. All these are vanity. It will be melt on the day of the Lord. As the Bible has let us know, the scripture we read, that is Second Peter 3.10. He said, every element will be melted. So beloved, that day is a fearful day. And that day is ahead of you and I. So this is a day we have to change our mind and our thoughts and run to the owner of life. Because this day is going to be a fearful thing. And that day, where are you heading to? That day, where are you running to? So the Bible is telling you and I, today is the day to change our thought, our wicked ways, our crooked way. So beloved, this is the day. We continue, hallelujah. We continue with the scriptures. That is 1 John 2.28. And let us hear the word of God. 2.28 to 29. And I read, and now, little children, abide in him, that when he appears, we may have confidence and not be ashamed before him as he is coming. 29. If you know that he is, if you know that he is righteous, you know that every, everyone who practices righteousness will born of him. 
So, if you are righteous before the Almighty Jehovah that day, you are not going to be afraid. That day, you will lift your head up to see the owner of life because you have led a righteous life. Oh, beloved, that day is a day that you see the almighty God. That day will be a disaster for the whole universe. So beloved, let us be aware. We continue with the scriptures. We give him all his glory. We continue with Amos 5, and the verses are 18 to 20. Let us hear the word of God. Woe to you who desire the day of the Lord. For what good is the day of the Lord? This is a question mark. That day, the day of the Lord. If you have led a righteous life, it will be good for you. But if you are not, you did not serve the owner of life, our Lord Jesus Christ, that day will be a miserable day. So Amos is asking us. We continue. It will be darkened. It will be darkness and not light. That day will be darkness. No light anywhere. 19. It will be a talk. A man flee from the lion, and a bear met him. Or as he talked, he went into the house, leaned his hand on the wall, and a serpent will bite him. 20. Is it not the day of the Lord darken and not light? Is it not the very dark with no brightness in it? So Amos is telling us here that day, there is no light anywhere. You want to run, but beloved in Christ, where are you running to? If you don't know the Savior, if you have not accepted the King of glory, that day, where are you heading to? So beloved, we have to change our thoughts. Today is the day of repentance. As the Bible let us know in Amos 5, 20, he says, that day of the Lord, there is darkness and not a light. So beloved, let us be aware. Let us run from sin. Let us be with the Lord. Let us do the right thing so that when he he appeared, we will lift up our head and meet our king, not rather fall short. So this is the day of the Lord. It is ahead of us. So beloved in Christ, the scripture has come. It is time that you change your mind, your mindset. If you don't know Christ, if you haven't accepted him, the day of the Lord, he said, it is going to be darkened. So this is the moment. Christ is calling everyone who want to be saved. His arm is open. So beloved, those who have not accepted Christ, this is the moment. This is the hour. This is the seconds you can change your thought and come before the Savior. He will save you. We give him all his glory for giving us a warning, for giving us a message like this. Because what is ahead of us, it is a fearful thing, the day of the Lord. We give him all his glory. He alone is worthy to be praised and to be honored. Thank you, King of glory. Thank you, covenanted God. Thank you, miracle working God, for letting us to know that the day of the Lord of you is very, very serious. We thank you, miracle working God. Spirit of the living God, may you bless your end time prophet, the one that you have ordained, the one who is drawing souls to you, 
him, Prophet Kennedy, the wife, the children, and also the viewers. They have availed themselves in a daily basis to listen to the end time prophet. We thank you for giving us your word. And this is what we need this end time so that we will run from sin. Have mercy upon us. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Holy Spirit. We give you all the glory for the utterance of the word. In Jesus Christ's name, the word has come forth. Amen.